We're staying with political developments in a do state where Omobayo Godwins has been sworn in as the new deputy governor by the state chief judge justice Daniel Okungowa. Governor Godwin Obaseki had picked Mr. Mobayo as his new deputy hours after the impeachment of Philip Shaivo. Mr. Mobayo hails from the Akoko Edo local government area. Philip Shaivo was impeached earlier today by the State House of Assembly after the adoption of the report of the seven man investigative panel set up by the State Chief Judge, Justice Daniel Okungawa, to probe allegations of misconduct against Mr. Shaivo. The House of Assembly voted for impeachment of the Deputy Governor by a vote of 18 against 1, who voted against among the 20 members present, with the Speaker expected to give the deciding vote in the case of a tie. Mr. Shaibu, according to Justice Stephen Omonua, retired, led a seven-man panel set up to investigate the allegation of gross misconduct levered against the Deputy Governor and submitted that the Deputy Governor was guilty of disclosure of official secret. The House Utility Try. presented first, and uh, fortunately, the respondent absented himself and did not put up anything on the other side of uh, the divide. Consequently, the panel came up with a report, and that report was to the extent that of the two allegations that were levied against the respondent, the one bordering on perjury was not proved. Meanwhile, the now former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibo, has been speaking about his impeachment by the State House of Assembly. He said the impeachment plot is not just an attack on him, but an attack on democratic principle. Mr. Shaibo, in a video posted on this official ex ando described this impeachment as illegal that will not stand the test of time. He, however, described all the allegations against him as trumped-up charges. It is with heavy heart, yet a resolute spirit, that I come before you to address the recent events that have unfolded within our dear state. I denounce in strongest term the illegal impeachment by the Edo State House of Assembly over Trump up charges. This is not just an attack on me as an individual, but on the very democratic principle that we hold there. It is a dangerous descent into dictatorship and a threat to the foundation of our democracy. Let it be clear that this impeachment was harshed because of my ambition to contest the Edo State 2024 governorship election under the People's Democratic Party, PDP. An ambition that is a legal right to all citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's a sad reality that in our political landscape, ambition is meant with resistance. And those in power seek to silence opposition through illegitimate means. Now, former Deputy Governor Philippe Shaibo there. Away from politics now to judicial matters, Justice Roman Oshudi of the Lagos State Special Offences Court sitting in Ikeda has remanded the former Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Amifili, and one Henry Isioma Omoli after their arraignment for alleged corruption. Kemi Foladiemo has details. Godwin Amifili is back in Lagos to answer to criminal charges. Unlike the earlier charges of alleged illegal possession of firearms which the federal government brought against him in the state and were later withdrawn, this time the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission prosecuting the case at the Lagos State Special Offenses Court told Justice Ramanu Shudi that it was ready to open its case against the defendants. 
The former CBN governor pleaded not guilty to 23 counts of alleged abuse of office by allocating forex without bids to individuals and entities, illegally accepting gratification, corrupt demands, fraudulent receipt of property, and converting corrupt advantage, while Isioma Omole pleaded not guilty to three counts of accepting gifts of $310,000 for Mr. Emefili as reward for the illegal allocation of foreign exchange. The alleged fraud sum, which amounts to more than $4.5 billion and $2.8 billion naira, is said to be punishable under the Lagos criminal laws, as well as the Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Act. After the arraignment, the EFCC Council wrote to Mio Yedepu essay and requested for a date for their witnesses to give evidence, saying some of them were exhibiting fears ahead of the trial and so would need to give their testimonies in camera so as to protect their identity. Defense counsel Abdul Hakim Labilawal also urged the court to grant the defendant's bail on self recognizance or on liberal terms spending the determination of the case. He says Mr. Emefili was already enjoying and complying with bail conditions granted by an Abuja High Court in another charge and was due to be arraigned in a fresh trial in Abuja next week. The EFCC didn't oppose the bail applications but urged the court to exercise its discretion. Judiciously, the judge ordered that Mr. Emir Philly be remanded at the EFCC custody and for the co defendants to be remanded at the Ikoyi custodial facility until the next adjourned date, April the 11th, for ruling on the bail applications and for further hearing. Kemi Folade Emo, TVC News, Lagos. Aligned with President Bolatinabu's drive to ensure no Nigerian goes hungry. The governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwolu, has keyed into the plan by distributing food palliatives to residents across the 20 local government areas and the 37 local council development areas of the state. In the Tire Kate local council development area, individuals ranging from civil servants to the aged, vulnerable and the persons with disability benefited from the exercise. The council chairman, Ahmed Akbatira, um, applauded the governor for his concerns about the plight of the people, adding that the palliatives would bring a sort of relief to the beneficiaries. We've been giving palliative since the time of petroleum subsidy. So it is giving succor to the citizens. We really appreciate, first of all, the president of Nigeria and and uh, Sonwolu with our uh, honorable chairman, Olari, Dr. Olari Waju Apatira, Bolu Watife. We really appreciate it. We appreciate them in all what they are doing. We really appreciate. God bless them. I appreciate the governor for what he has done today. I appreciate him. May God bless him. Bless the country. Bless Lagos State. Bless its record. 